Hello my friends, Black Captain 8 here, and in this video we're going to go over some quick crews that I used back in my North Star days to help some of the uh, lower ops players in my alliance get the most out of their rating. Hello my friends. Live long and prosper. Alright, so real quick, this is a shout out to Natecom from Live Long and Prosper, my alliance that I am the admiral for on US uh, 0 CCQ Duris. Live Long and Prosper. This video is specifically set up for uh, not just him, but people in that level range that are trying to uh, use that North Star to crack bases. Everybody tells you it's good for cracking bases, but how do you do it, right? All right, so as much as we love the North Star when we first get it around operations level 18, I think, it really, um, it's a really great ship. It's kind of a warship for a while when you first get it, but otherwise it's a great tier three miner. This one here is maxed out. Uh, and it's still viable up until about level 24. Once you can really build that uh, Vok list, then that'll really take back over as your main warship. This will go back to being a miner. But until then, this thing is going to help you crack a bunch of bases. But you can't really crack a base. You can go straight at it one shot and crack a base. But let's talk about the knock first. First thing you want to do is get something cheap and easy to repair like this uh, Rialto. You can't get rid of your Rialto, thankfully. If you need a secondary ship, it's not a bad idea to get the blueprints for a uh, tier one, level one fortunate. It is slower than the Rialto, but it's also super cheap to repair. I keep one of each because sometimes you might need it for nefarious purposes. We're space pirates here after all. But just to show you real quick how easy this thing is to go and repair. It is super cheap. I mean, we're out here in Aza right now. To go attack this hostile we have no business fighting with this thing if we can find it by the way there's little arrows here if you need to uh, hit it if you have multiple targets so watch Rialta is going to go get blown up real quick and it is the cheapest fastest ship to repair so this is the one you're going to want to go throw out there when you're doing knocking if you can reach the place that you're doing it, it most of the time you're either gonna have to toss cadet scotty on there bam super cheap super fast to repair you're going to put cadet scotty on there or be in the same zone if you're going to want to use the Rialta but you're going to want to use a super cheap ship whenever you go knock on a base it's called knocking you throw something at it real quick it automatically pulls up a 10 minute um peace shield on it called the auto bubble you're gonna want to set a timer or something so that you can see how long it's been since that bubble's gone up after 10 minutes you'll want to look at it again if it's come down maybe they're not on you don't know i've got another video uh, from a while back now on how to properly case your joint whenever you're going to go in for this but knocking is the first step when it comes to actually um, rating so you want to do that with a cheap ship. Don't waste it on your North Star. You're going to need a lot of repair speed ups in some cases. So make sure you're using something cheap for that first initial hit. Okay, so after you have knocked on the base, you've waited for the 10 minute auto bubble to come down and it has come down. Hopefully they're not around. But your next step, of course, is to crack that base. Cracking meaning the um, breaching of the defenses from a fully capable base to a defenseless base so that your miners can come in without getting blown up and scoop as it's called, which is just uh, like super fast uh, five second mining to completely fill your hold with whatever goodies are in the base um yeah it's pretty neat so what we're gonna want to do is i would take my north star at the time and put Otto as the captain he was pretty much the best one that i had for um breaching a base at that point for cracking a base he has smashed the defenses at the start of each round if the target of the ship is a defense platform which is those are going to be the things that do the most damage to you really around the time that you're using the north star pretty heavily um I'm just going to increase the damage of the ship by 20% for that round. <clears throat> That's pretty fantastic. But what I would do instead is take um, Caddy and oops, or Caddy, Caddy and um, Joaquin on here. So if you toss both of these on here, you get this synergy bonus. And then if you go confirm now, you'll go look. We went from 20% to 40%. That's a pretty big increase to your damage there. You've also got Otto's um, officer ability to increase the attack of each officer on the bridge of the ship by 40%. It's only the bridge of the ship, it's not below deck. Still great for cracking bases. Then we've also got Katie over here. She's got an enhanced weaponry when attacking a station. Katie increases the critical hit damage by 20%. So that's gonna help you tremendously while you are attacking a base. Remember your North Star is outside of that battle triangle, which is your battleships are good against explorers, are good against interceptors, are good against battleships. The North Star is a survey, so it doesn't fit in there. So usually you have to go uh, according to the battle triangle when you attack a base. It doesn't really matter what order the ships are in. It's going to go based off the battle triangle. It's a little different because the North Star is outside of that. So kind of helps you, um, can help you. Not necessarily always does, but can help you when you're attacking a base. 
So this is the crew that I would use almost always to crack a base. Sometimes I would load up if I had the um, Kira, possibly. If there was a battleship in there I needed to get out, maybe I'd crash that in there first. The jellyfish even um, kind of falls out around the time that you get the North Star anyways. So really what I do is end up taking this and just throwing it against the base over and over and over after that shield was down. Just quickly repair, make sure you get your shield back if you can. Get back and do it as long as you are doing whole damage to the the base then you might be able to do it but make sure that somebody's not just sitting there repeatedly repairing their base messing with you that's really embarrassing when that happens to you so make sure that you are cracking the base that's what i would use for my base cracking team and then you want to load down underneath with really strength is good if you want to watch your bonuses so i would kind of do my strength and watch my bonuses and when i got close to my bonus or something i would go ahead and focus on something else but health is super important, attack is super important, the defense is not that great when it comes to your um, base cracking, but whatever you have, you know, you gotta work with what you have. These are pretty attainable when you're around the time that you have the North Star, you get the Botany Bay and you start on the Augment Chain. These are your guys that are good for attacking your base. Okay, great. Once you've got it cracked, which is a pretty hard part to do there, then you've got to scoop it and you gotta do it as fast as possible before the base owner comes back, starts repairing and makes you look dumb and blows up all your miners, or people come to defend it or they get on a bubble and you're done so most of the time what you're going to have around that area is going to be the envoy um if you don't have an envoy max really what you want to do is compare your botany bay don't neglect that botany bay keep that going as high as you can get it but your botany bay to your envoy see which one of them has the higher cargo capacity i remember i had to run this cargo capacity um for a long time this is a maxed out envoy tier seven um, it's not maxed out as level, but it's maxed out when it comes to the upgrades. So it's going to get the highest um, cargo capacity that it can get. And this is also augmented by the fact that I've got Ston on here. here. This is the crew that I'd use when I'm scooping almost all the time. Is You're going to want to put Claw as your captain because he's going to increase your impulse speed. I'll go ahead and toss Vixus on there or somebody else that's high level and uncommon that will get that synergy with Claw because you're going to get a little bit more out of your hot pursuit. So your impulse speed is going to go back, uh, higher. It's going to move a little bit faster in that zone. Really, you're going to want to be in the same system, ideally around the same uh, home planet. So you're right next door, but you want that increase in your speed almost all the time. So especially on the Botany Bay, the Botany Bay is so slow. But the Envoy or the Botany Bay is what I would use. This is the exact loadout I would use. You can switch fix this with anything you want, but Claw is very important and Stan will get you a higher cargo capacity. Remember, you only got a five second animation whenever you go attack that base when the defenses are down and it takes like maybe a half second after that and you get a completely full cargo hold. So at this point, I would have 192 resource or 192,000 resources ready to go get back to my base as quickly as possible. And that impulse speed helps me get back and forth, back and forth, back and forth and scoop that base to nothing, hopefully before somebody gets back or catches me in the middle of a raid or whatever's going on. So your scooping is extremely important. You either want to use the Envoy or the Botany Bay, see what your highest cargo capacity is, and then drop Stun on it so that you can get even higher cargo capacity. That's about it. That's how I did my rating around the 18 to even early 20s, like maybe 23-ish. I don't think I used it much when I hit 24, maybe a little bit. But after that, it kind of falls off and you're really just going to use it for a, a really fast grade 3 miner. But once you get it at 18, it's pretty fantastic. It is, it is hell on wheel. Can I say that? But that's pretty much it. Hopefully this helps you guys that are in that, that ops range. Um, get out there, crack bases, and let me know in the comments how this works for you. Thanks. Have a good one. Live long and prosper. See you next time. Hey, we hope you liked the video. Like, comment, subscribe. All the usual jazz helps us grow the channel. But we do have a direct method to support the channel down below in the PayPal description. But all the indirect methods are perfectly fine for us. Share it with other people you think might get some value out of it. Help them grow those alliance mates, server mates that you care for and your real life friends, so maybe they'll come join us in this awesome game that we all love. Thank you very much for being here. We really appreciate it. Live long and prosper, and we'll catch you next time.